Hi everybody and welcome to Airbrush Artistry. This is Douglas Hartman and today we're going back to the Goblin. And so uh, you can see here that I'm working on his, his nose and his left cheek area uh, using the Drew Blair uh, Takumi with the short trigger and the soft uh, spring in the air system. And I'm just using shields to help uh, define the form of the, the bridge of his nose there and just lightly uh, dusted in the base color which is 10 drops of injury ochre three drops of moss green and three drops of burnt sienna and then i decided to use uh, something different for texture and that's an old dryer sheet i wanted the texture on the nose to be a little bit different than uh, the surrounding areas and I go in, spray some color in, and go back in with an eraser to def define the highlighted areas. And it's a back and forth process. As you can see, I'll go back in, a little bit more color, define the edges a little bit, in the base of the creases and the bridge of his nose. And uh, just real lightly putting in some more texture. And I'll go back in. This is a different uh, texture stencil than the ones that I've used around the, the chin and the mouth areas. Just to make it look a little bit different than the rest of his, his features. And at some point, what I'm going to do is I'll get that in. Again, going back to the eraser, pulling out highlights. And then once I kind of get that area worked in a little bit, I will move over to the left cheek area and start the process, same process right there as I'll use uh, shields again to define the, the folds of the skin and they, uh, you know I always look over I'm not doing it you know it's not an exact copy or anything like that but it's just a reference that I look over and check and right now I'm just freehanding in some of the the darker areas uh, where I'll go in with um, I'll go in with a darker variant of the base which is the base uh, flesh tone plus three drops of sepia and but I'll wait and get that those filled in first kind of define those areas a little bit some of the creases in his cheekbone there And at some point here, I switch over. I add some more. Uh, I went back with the original stencil that I used uh, on his skin in the surrounding areas of his cheek, like his mouth and his, his chin. And then I go back in and, uh, you know, I go back in. And here I am using that the, the darker flesh tone. I go back in and erase. Because you know you get a little bit of overspray with the airbrush, so you go back in and erase some of the highlights out again, and it's that again, it's that just that back and forth process through the entire time. And you go back over to the nose, add some of the darker color, the darker base color, and his nose a little bit, help define and shape it out a little bit more. And you notice once I start adding the darker color. You can you can see the highlighted areas much easier, and so it's something to take in consideration that really your your highlights are going to be as light as the depending on how dark the value is around them that surrounds them, you know, that, and um, you can actually start to see them here in the video now since I've added the darker base color, and then at some point what I do is I go from that darker base color and instead of using uh, pure black which um, it can just go uh, dark too fast um, I take the dark skin tone color and I'll have about uh, that's a two milliliter uh, cup on my Takumi there um, I'll have that maybe about halfway filled up 
and with the darker base variant and I'll add three drops of illustration black to it and it darkens it up just enough but not it doesn't you know you're able to build it up slowly and that's that's really key is building your darks up slowly see here I am now doing that and And that, uh, again, the Takumi just really atomizes the paint beautifully. It's a wonderful uh, airbrush. I'm really, really happy with it. And then I go back into his nose and add some dark, you know, dark areas in his nose. And um, a little bit of more texture. The great thing about it, too, is because it has such a very uh, narrow spray angle, you don't have to get really close to get, you know, uh, a smaller area, a painted area. And I'm even going in with the stencil, putting a darker color over that to give that area some more texture. And looking over it again where the highlights need to be pulled out. And then what I did is I wanted his nose to be a different hue. And so I took the base color, the base flush tone, and I added three more drops of burnt sienna to it. And so that gave it a, a little bit more of a, a reddish hue to it, I guess. And um, it's hard to kind of see it right now, but I, at the end of the video, I have a, in the very beginning of the video, I had a, a close-up shot. Because I also go in and get closer, and I add like little veins in his nose. Um, <clears throat> it just, you know, again, it's just more detail, layered on top of more detail. And, um, yeah, and so... Uh, and I kind of put that on the in, inside of his nose, pop in a couple, of, you know, a uh, little bit brighter highlights with the electric eraser, and just about ready to, to call this that night done. But yeah, you can see the uh, um, it gets close up shot there, the more the detail in the nose area. And uh, yeah, he's coming along pretty good. I'm really happy with it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the views, and I really, really appreciate the subscribers that I have. Thank you very much. Have a good night.